Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. OneNote notebooks can contain sections, section groups, pages, and even subpages. How do you know which one to create and when? The answer is it's completely up to you and depends on the nature of the information you're collecting and your organizational style. In order to effectively use OneNote, you must be able to easily locate the information you've stored, as must others if you're sharing notebooks. You can create a storage structure that's unique to your needs. A new notebook that you create in OneNote contains one untitled section called New Section 1. You'll see that right up here at the top in the notebook header. And it also contains one untitled page, which you can see over in the Page tabs bar. The first step is to name your new section something descriptive. To do so, right-click on the New Section 1 tab in the Notebook header, and then choose the Rename command from the menu that appears. When you do, you'll see that the name is highlighted, and then you can change it in that tab. I'm going to click out of there for just a moment to show you that you can just as easily double-click on the name in the tab to highlight it as well. Once the name in the tab is highlighted, type in your new name for your section and then press Enter on your keyboard to save the new section name. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll create our section called Meetings in our work notebook and click Enter. To create a brand new section, click on the Create a New Section tab right here in the notebook header. It has a little plus on it. Give that a click and then go ahead and name it in the same manner. Let's say we want to have a section for clients and we might want to have a section for staff and maybe we want another one for products. Now once you have a section created it's time to start adding pages. Remember that OneNote automatically creates one page for you in each section called Untitled Page by default. If you select this page by clicking on it in the Page Tabs bar, you'll see your cursor blinking in the empty title area within the content pane. You see that page is highlighted and our cursor is blinking and this is the title area for the page. You type your page name into this area and then press Enter to save the page's new name. So within our Products section here, maybe we have a page for Microsoft Office 2013 and we'll press enter. Now if you're using a version prior to 2013 the title in the content pane is going to look a little bit different. You'll see a dotted line surrounding the title instead of the solid line that we see underneath the title here on this page in 2013. But they both serve the same function and look very similar. Now after you press entered after naming your page here you can either start entering notes or move on to another task altogether. To create a brand new page you click the add page button at the top of the page tabs bar right here and then repeat the steps for naming it. So maybe we also would like to have a page for accounting. and maybe we have one more for web design. And so now we have our three different pages that we've created in our product section of our work notebook. Once you have sections and pages created, you can easily rearrange the order in which they appear. To move a section, you just click on the Sections tab and then drag it to the new location. As you do, you'll see a small black triangle appear between the other tabs, and this indicates the new location. So when it's in the place you want, just release your mouse, and you'll see that it's moved to a new location. Now, moving a page works in the same manner, except that instead of a triangle, what you'll see is a small black line representing the new location as you drag and release. Maybe we would like to move the accounting page up, and maybe 
move that down. You can rearrange them however you like. To delete a section or page, just right-click on the name, either in the Page Tabs bar or up in the Notebook header. Let's say we wanted to get rid of our web design page that we created here. You can right-click on that and then choose Delete from the menu that appears. Now if you do that with a section, however, right-click and choose Delete, we'll get a message from OneNote asking us to confirm that we really want to delete that section. In this case, we'll go ahead and click No, but if you do want to delete it, then just confirm Yes, and it would delete the section. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at creating, moving, and deleting subpages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.